If you find these videos helpful, could well, you please help me like out this? by just They're taking amazing. a second and clicking the like button power below? Designer. It makes Their a big difference. Their school has my call for my fashion. You want to stay you tuned to answer these over. questions. You're having all. What is None the class? What does it do? Who's involved? You're having Who are all. the Not bad. And how do those you're fucking Because you're a black on iPhone. You'll we'll find these on a yeah. lot okay, of exams. Okay, no problem. And I have to admit, you're it can be a little bit guys. overwhelming. Um, the I good news is it's, that actually you understand I the pathways it's great. and names of all these Come on. groups you of don't drugs care. actually make sense. There is a so that is what we're going to do no today. <coughs> what you should well no as homeostasis, hmm. negative feedback loops, here. and the world There's of a, signal I transduction. And of course, I'll put place links to these apple. videos down Hold there. The time, Just to make sure we're all on the same page, we have the terms ligand and receptor. The ligand is the thing that binds, and we use the symbol here for an inhibitor of that ligand I receptor really like binding. So I some sort of antagonist, for long example. Long long this long can long be found at the surface of the cell. It can also be found inside the cell, in the cytoplasm, or even in the no. nucleus. No way. Today we're going to take a look at aldosterone, like, which is no a steroid way. hormone, this and its receptors a... are in the you cytoplasm. Can, and you can There's block a... this you reaction between what aldosterone and the answer. aldosterone receptor the with an aldosterone no. receptor and antagonist no. like this drug, steronolactone. No so more you show like that with the symbol here. So I want to make sure that is clear. All right, let's get started. What is the RAS? It is the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. You can see why right an there. acronym is needed. It's an endocrine We're pathway. Like it regulates like my fluid balance. We're talking now about all enough. kinds of extracellular oh fluids no. all over the body, the blood plasma, actually, the lymph, interstitial what? fluid, and also arterial uh, vasoconstriction. So it is you know a what? major player uh, in regulating blood pressure. When the RAS yeah. system is activated, there you get what increased happened fluid retention as well here. as vasoconstriction, and both of those things will increase blood pressure. And here. this is problematic no, for patients who are dealing with hypertension, here. heart You're disease, renal disease, complications due to diabetes, etc. No, it Many I'm different sorry, drugs miss, affect various aspects of this system. And we're going to go Your through those and like understand this? how you can sort oh, of take out different panic. steps along You're the pathway. The and currently these drugs are going to lower blood pressure and reduce stress on the heart. That's a great Players idea. In this system, Must include have. there's a not lot: the bad. kidney, the liver, hmm. the lung, not bad believe at it or all. not, and the adrenal Isn't cortex. Right here? And we've got My some choice. more too. We've got the pituitary gland, again. the hypothalamus, Our and the heart and the cardiovascular system as a whole. Again. So as you can see, there's a lot of players I here. Extra right here. activation of this system is going to come Isn't from the detection right of low blood volume you must or hear. dropping if blood you're pressure. Trying to kill this could be due to a a severe dehydration. Later hemorrhage, those sorts you of things. We have intrinsic regulation, too. That is to There's say the nephrons themselves no, activate play. this system. And we're going oh to look God. specifically you know at the here. renal this corpuscle. So that is the glomerulus, the afferent and efferent arterioles leading one. in and out of it, and There's the glomerular or the bone's capsule. So quick review of those parts right here. The region we're really interested in is right here, the juxtaglomerular apparatus. So you want to notice the afferent arterioles Arterial. This is the efferent Bitch. arterial, and this is the distal convoluted tubule no. cut in cross section. And, and you want to notice these little green uh, jobbers here. We these are, are granular juxtaglomerular oh cells, or just what granular cells, here? and they're going to produce the enzyme okay, renin. No and it's Please important don't to notice look. how close together don't all of these me. structures are. There's in particular, no? the it's distal dangerous. convoluted tubule dangerous? is very, no, very close it's to not the afferent dangerous. arterial. And there's some specialized cells right okay, here called the macula densa that are going to be really important. They sense what is going on in the in the lumen You're of the distal know, tubule. And they can send a message right to those no, granular cells so to help activate the RAS Really the intrinsic RAS activation can come uh, from beta-1 adrenergic stimulation, so that's from the autonomic uh, nervous system. Oh man, what's she going in now? Perfusion. Oh, we call this hypoperfusion. And the granular cells what themselves is this place? sense what that. So they can sense 
<coughs> the volume change of the blood going in and out. It's actually and the increase in sodium chloride in the distal tubule. That is sensed by the macula you densa. Are so you what's happening is the macula densa, uh, these cells right here, over are able to sense here? the sodium look chloride at? concentration you are of the over filter. Spanish. And a drop in sodium Spanish, chloride like concentration English is usually due to low filter rate volume. So if there's not a filter rate going through at any given time, then you have more time for reabsorption of sodium chloride, that's what's going to cause that drop. So of course, of now the young will cause the grass oxidation yeah. to occur. Cool. Like your and what's going to happen is those grass really cells will water. secrete the enzyme oh renin, which is also Let known as angiotensinogenase. I'm just going to call it renin, oh if that's okay for this you. Is works. Uh, it is an enzyme. It is oh, not a hormone. What? A lot of students but mess up with that. There are no peripheral receptors for renin, and it a is an enzyme that catalyzes a reaction. We're going to see that reaction right now. So the liver is where it starts, and it produces a protein called angiotensin. It's 453 amino acids long, but the first 12 amino acids are the ones we are interested in. Oh yeah, there they are. Now, angiotensin is produced all the time and released constantly by the liver. It floats around in the body, but it is completely inactive. However, if it runs into the enzyme of renin produced by the granular cells, there is a hydrolysis between these two amino acids shown here, and what you get is a decapeptide called angiotensin 1. Angiotensin 1 is also not biologically active, so now it's flowing around all over the place, and it has to be activated by an later, enzyme that is found is not primarily later? in the surface of pulmonary you know, epithelia and also in the renal tissue and like other places, here. as we're finding out now. Oh, this enzyme society. is called an the kids are all going to do enzyme. Now, Does that make sense? We call not? it ACE for I short. So when but angiotensin I mean, 1, so as it flows you around the body, passes you're through the pulmonary capillaries, and it meets up with the ACE enzyme, and we get the final cleavage here that converts angiotensin 1 to the active hormone Angiotensin you can't just two. fart into and our last time. And angiotensin will then be available to bind Thank you. to it's ATP receptors, so as they're called, now. which are found throughout the body. These here. are primarily G-protein couple receptors, and they're going to cause a lot of different right effects. Now, There's actually four exactly different types. Walmart. The important thing is what hey, angiotensin right 2 oh, does. What? Angiotensin right? 2 causes what? systemic what? vasoconstriction of <coughs> arterioles. That in and of itself increases okay, blood okay. pressure. We're going to get stimulation. That's of the sympathetic not. division. Okay, so you're okay, get that's like enough. An increase in both you must heart have rate and water. stroke volume. That, of course, right. will also increase blood pressure. My goodness, you're going to get vasoconstriction here, of the efferent and to a lesser extent afferent arterioles in the nephron. That's going to keep the right pressure here. in the glomerulus it's high. high. We're going to get decreased uh, blood flow to here. the nephron peritubular capillary. Some of you may know What's those as the vasal rectal. No, you wasn't. And so if you decrease the Come blood flow there, right there, then there. you're going to get reduced washout, as it's called, of the oh, ions, primarily Freeze. sodium, chlorine, I know and what urea. I and increased that. sodium reabsorption in nephrons overall. And that's going to be due to a stimulation of sodium proton exchange. In addition, the adrenal cortex is going look. to be stimulated so by angiotensin 2 to I release the steroid aldosterone. And aldosterone is going low. to have an effect in the nephrons as well. You're going to get an increase You're of ion low. and no water pale reabsorption. So again, all low. of these ions well, and water still. reabsorption is going to have to increase <laughs> fluid, of course, and ion retention I don't and know. increase the blood pressure. No, and finally, we're going to have the release of vasopressin like or ADH. Going this is a cat? hormone that Don't is made in the hypothalamus. It's stored and released by the posterior pituitary gland. And what vasopressin like right does here. is it acts solution. on the cells of the collecting duct. Well, and it causes water here. to be reabsorbed. And it There's also stimulates thirst. There's if you want to see more about over. that in particular, <coughs> and actually how that happens, there's a really cool you little guys called aquaporin. If you want to click on this little link and check okay. it out below. The easiest right. way to get around yeah. this and clinical to do applications will make right a there. lot more quiet. sense. You are so we have all. four major uh, groups of have... drugs that what we can, can use to about? inhibit this system. Aldosterone like receptor antagonists, direct renin inhibitors, ACE inhibitors, 
and ARBs or Sarge. So we're going to go through all of these. And you're going to see that the secret's in the name. So if you understand the pathway, then these names will make sense. And then how the drugs work will also make sense. Let's look first at the aldosterone receptor antagonist. So right away, you should be able to tell what these things are going to do. You don't have may see them as anti-mineral corticoids. Aldosterone is mineral corticoid. So sometimes you see the uh, receptors referred to stopped. as mineralocorticoid receptors. That um, that's, that's really the truth of this one thing, one if you ask me. One These one are intracellular receptors, right? Aldosterone is a cell. I have a they are called <laughs> potassium-sparing diuretics. And hopefully here. you can see why. Can so, for come? example, spironolactone, yeah, that's the most know. common one. Isn't so I have the trade right? names here in parentheses. This is an antagonist. It blocks aldosterone from binding to those receptors. So it will prevent aldosterone from causing Don't worry. these effects. You must have seven E's, eight E's, and nine Now, direct renin <gasps> what inhibitors, this okay. makes the yeah, most yeah. sense. It's the most yeah, obvious yeah. way to limit the RAS system. It's like, like we'll here. just kill it no, at step no, one. No, no, Interestingly no, enough, no, researchers no, have been working no, since no, the no, 70s to no, develop no, a direct no, renin no, inhibitor no, that has no, oral no, bioavailability. No, it turned out to be really difficult. There's really one on the market as of the making of this tutorial. It was approved in 2007. It's still the only one available, and it blocks the production. Okay. Okay. Of okay. You're a okay. ACE inhibitors. Okay. These are much more common oh, and no, there are more of them. So if you Good block luck. the conversion of angiotensin okay? 1 to angiotensin 2, okay. then you don't allow no, the production of the active so hormone. No. Here are some common ACE inhibitors. Know. And you can see if you block that what enzyme, you you're not going to get the conversion. You not have and finally, there are angiotensin 2 receptors. No. They are sometimes called <laughs> angiotensin oh, no! receptor blockers, ARBs, or no we more chapters or what? Or have taken away. By using aldosterone oh, no. receptor antagonists. I'm not having a long. Stay here, the production of my friend. We can inhibit the production of the angiotensin-converting <laughs> enzyme. Yeah, I know, isn't it? Or we can right. inhibit Emily, the actions kidding. of angiotensin-2 on their receptors it's throughout the body. Dangerous. So what I hope you no, no, can no. see here is that by understanding the different What's parts of the pathway, it's very easy then yes, to understand how not various here. drugs not bad. will work. And hopefully One it becomes... Here. Don't tell me you're ever here. Yes, I can't.